Kwa right here on the morning drift. And um, yes, you can hear some noises in the background. That's because we're getting the art ready for exhibition right here on uh, our action table. Remember, the conversation is the art of beekeeping in the sense of what we need then for you to actually be available. Yes, let me just cut to the action. Mr. Mutua, I just want you to move next to me so we can actually get to set it up. And then as we set it up, we continue talking about this. All right, let's just directly jump into it. So, Mr. Mutua, yes. right up to where we are, fantastic. So, what are we setting up? Yes, uh, mm -hmm. we're setting up the entire harvesting equipment yeah. for the beekeeping. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about the honey. Mm -hmm. I was talking about the bee pollen, yeah. the propolis, mm -hmm. the royal jelly, yeah. the wax, yeah. Yeah, and the venom. And the venom. Yes. yes, one. But those definitions, we're going to get into them yes. as we go on with this conversation. Yes, so yes. So could you tell any other part? So this is the harvesting um, equipment. This is the honey extractor. This is the honey extractor. And of course, I shall uh -huh. describe how it works. Yeah. And uh, of course, this is the beehive. Yeah. This is the Langstroth beehive, mm -hmm. which of course I will explain briefly yes. uh -huh. the benefit of, 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 of the Langstroth hive. Okay. And of course, uh, yeah, this is the venom collector. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the, the venom collector. Okay. Of course, I shall describe how it works. Okay. And then uh, this is the royal jelly. Okay. The, the royal jelly harvesting kit. Okay. Which, and, which uh, we also talk about it. Yes. Right? So and of course, the pollen. Yes. Can, yes. We, can we get done setting this up so that we see exactly? No, it's already done. Oh. This is already done. Done. Yes, yes. This is already done. Completely. Yes, yes. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's move to the next equipment. Yes. Which, which is essentially. I should, start, I should start with the beehive. Yeah, let's, let's of course, just. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's just move into it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just right there. Just on the. Just step here. Yes. Great. Yes. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is the Langstroth beehive. Okay. This is the Langstroth beehive mm -hmm. and. Uh, as, uh, as the viewer can see, okay. it has two boxes. Mm -hmm. It has two boxes. Yeah. Uh, this one we call it the brooder. This one we call it the super. Okay. The brooder, why? Because that is where the brooding okay. takes place. Mm -hmm. The beauty about this beehive is that uh, as opposed to the traditional beehive, anytime you're harvesting the traditional beehive, you will, uh, there, there are four challenges that will affect you. Mm -hmm. One, yeah. you will definitely uh, have to cut the combs. Oh, I see that now. Yes. Yeah. When you that's cut for the, the combs, traditional one. Yeah, the traditional yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. When uh -huh. you cut the combs, you have to crush them, right? Uh -huh. When you crush them, it means you can't turn, uh, return them back. Uh -huh. Now that means bees must come again and start from square zero. Now, it takes 10 times the time it takes to make honey. It yeah. takes 10 times to make combs. Yeah. So what it means is uh, there is real wastage of time. The number two, uh -huh. chances are 90%, 99% when you are, when you are crushing the combs yeah. that will crush the, uh, you kill the queen. And now, when you kill the queen, the challenge number three is that now bees have to abscord. They'll have to stop, isn't it? Because Actually, they have to yeah. abscord because they can't stay where there is no queen. I see. You have to go away. Mm -hmm. So what it means now, you have to wait for the next swarming yeah. of bees yeah. for you to start again from square zero. Yeah. And that's and why challenge number four. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's where now you. That's why you'll end up now harvesting only once in a year for a traditional hive. hive. And that's what now makes it that it's not a business, especially okay. now where I come from. And now people will just, uh, I mean, they will be celebrating now yeah. that I've harvested for a whole year. I mean, I've waited. Now I'm, I've harvested. <laughs> for a whole year. So what they'll do, they'll be distributing everybody to everybody. To in the village. every family. So they'll not yeah. be doing it like business. But now the bit about the, the lungs of the hive is yeah. that now it, uh, it helps you to overcome the four challenges. One, you can harvest without destroying the combs. One. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. It has the two boxes. Yeah. And the two boxes are separated by a queen excluder. Yeah. I wish I could, uh, mm -hmm. um, of course, I will be able, I will be able to demonstrate. Yes, yes. But, uh, but uh, mm -hmm. there is a queen excluder. There is yeah. a wire mesh in between. I can actually get to see yeah, it. Yeah, there is a, yeah. There's a queen excluder mm -hmm. in yeah. between. Yeah. And this queen excluder mm -hmm. has got holes. It's a wire mesh that has got holes yeah. that, are, that can allow the bee to pass through. Oh, but uh, the queen cannot pass through. Mm -hmm. Look at that. The bee cannot pass through. And what it means is that uh, now that the queen cannot pass through, then uh, she will not go up. Meaning when you are harvesting, because when you harvest, you only harvest the upper box. Then it means you don't kill you her. Don't, you don't touch the queen at all. All right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you don't kill yeah, her. Yeah. Now the honey that is on the lower box, which is their food, yes. then you also don't touch you it. You don't also touch it. Meaning, they have, yes, you have harvested today, but again, you still have, they still have their food. 
the queen is alive, the queen is still meaning intact. they don't have scores. Yes. And yes. then number three, most importantly, you just pick the frames from yes. the hive, mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. These, are, these are the frames. Oh, these are the frames yeah, that are within the hive. Within the hive yeah? That time mm -hmm. they have already come, but they have the honey. Yeah. So what you do, you just place them in the, in the, in the, in the, in the honey extractor. Yeah. And with the honey extractor, what will happen is uh, mm -hmm. it will just rotate. I can see that. Look at that. I can see that now oh, yes. because the, the action now. Yes. So once you rotate, you're essentially just extracting the. You're just extracting the honey. You're not touching the combs. The combs are quite intact. All oh, right, right, right. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, because the mechanism is quite simple, by yeah, the way. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. as a result of that speed, uh -huh. the honey comes out by itself. Then after some time, now you'll just need to come and open here. After just extracting need, your yes, honey, you then just there's a tap it. right there. Yes, yes. Then, then you put it in your, in your, in your jerry can or your, you know, and then, then by that time, of course, you're in your bee suit, you're in your gloves. Yeah. So you don't end up touching the honey. You anymore. do not even touch. In fact, I've not seen any one place yes. where you're coming in contact with, with the honey, honey with your hands that's at it. all. That's it. That's it. And so as a result of that, this honey is very hygienic. And that's one thing that I will tell everybody uh -huh. that uh, the savannah honey, the yeah. honey that you find in the supermarket and everywhere, this is honey that is harvested using the honey extractor. This is honey that is very, like 100, actually it's 100% hygienic. The honey that is harvested in the traditional way, yeah. of course, is honey that is touched by human hands. Mm -hmm. When we are harvesting it, you must have the, the, the look at that, you must have the, some firewood. That's that. When you're doing the firewood, you must mm -hmm. get a lot of sweat. Yeah. You are getting a lot of, uh, you know, milkers and all that. So as a result of that, the honey is sweet, but hygiene. Yes. With this one, 100%. 100%. Yes. Now, hold on. Yes. Now, let's talk about uh, money here before we move on to what oh, we yes. have here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The honey extractor, how much would that cost an individual? Because for your farm, you only need one, don't you? Um, uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. what, what we do is uh, for our clients, and I think that's something I should have mentioned, yeah. uh, which is good, yeah. uh, a benefit of someone working in Savannah Honey okay. is that for the first harvest, they may not need the equipment. Hold on. Yes, the first harvest as we use our equipment to harvest for our client. And mainly why we do that mm -hmm. is because we want to train them. We want I to have their now. guys I learning now. how to do I it. I see now. Yes. I see now. And then number two, uh -huh. uh, we believe now from the income that they've gotten from their first harvest, yeah. they can now be able now to, to, to buy their own equipment. So it's a way of lessening them the burden. Proper yeah. business case right there, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. We're, we're working that. with you for five years. Mm -hmm. This will cost you money, but mm -hmm. because you are getting into the business, yes. we're going to do it for you for the very first time you get into it. And yes, yes. after that, then you have the money to acquire this equipment. Right. Now, mm -hmm. the beauty about this, again, yeah. is an equipment that you can use for the next 50 years or so. Because, I mean, if you're just using your own just farm, using in your own farm. Uh, there's nothing much. There's nothing mechanical. There's nothing. And you much. only need one. Or you, you just need one even if you had uh, a thousand hives. You just need one. One is enough. And um, we have now smaller ones, yeah. plastic one, uh -huh. going for around uh, 27,000. 27,000. Yes. Yeah. We have got a, a, a slightly bigger one than that, that is going for around 35,000. Mm -hmm. And metallic one now for that matter. Yes. Then we have this one going for 45,000. 45,000. Yes. Business case man. Yes. Most important part of the business, Yes. this particular hive now. Because oh, if yes. we're going to start, this, yes. this oh, is what you need. Now you you, you, might say, you might say, no, we don't need this. Yes. They're, they're going to come with it. Let's talk about the hive. Yes. How much investment goes into this? We, we now have an offer. Yes. We now have an offer, and I think it's good for me to mention. Yeah, the normal price should be six thousand five hundred. Six thousand five hundred. But are we we're charging five thousand five hundred, and uh, uh, five thousand five hundred. Then we will do free installation. Mm -hmm. All right. Regardless of where I am. Yes, yes. What in we'll this, do in this country. We'll do, yes. Uh -huh. What we'll do? You may you may just charge you for fuel. Done. We actually don't charge you transport. We charge yeah. you maybe for fuel. Yes. But then again, uh, our happierist. We have a, a team of many happierists who now must accompany every beehive in this country where our beehive is. So they will accompany the hives for purposes of insulation. And that is talked about because of the citation and all that. Yep. 5,500. Oh, yes. Guys, I hope you're listening. Mm -hmm. If you want to start this business, it's going to cost you 5,500. And after this, we're going to talk about exactly how you're going to get in touch with him yes. so we can get started. I might be the first customer. Wow. wow. I love shows <laughs> like this, but we're just <laughs> learning the art about everything. Now, Mr. Mutuma, I want you to fall back yes. so we can look at this particular table. Yes, yes. What do we have here? And I want us to touch on the equipment first. Yes. Then we look at the products. All oh, right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I've already talked briefly about the, 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 mm -hmm. the, the harvesting of honey yes and it's good for me to mention that mm -hmm. we are contracting our clients now for honey for between 500 uh, kenya shillings to 600 per kg and uh, somebody uh, a hive should give you at least 10 
kilograms, yes. 10 kilograms, uh, an average of 10 kilograms yes. per, per, per hive. And uh, you can harvest between three to five times. So if you harvest an average of four times, mm -hmm. then it means you have got an average of around 40 kilograms. 40 kg, yeah. If you have got 40 kilograms and we bought, we bought from you at around 500 shillings per kg, then that means 20,000. That's 20 Gs. In a year, uh -huh. one hive. If you had got uh, 20 hives, that translates to around 400,000. That's what we're talking about now. Yes, in a space of where we are sitting. The space of where we are. Yes, that is 20 hives. And um, I want to talk briefly about, uh, mm -hmm. about uh, bee pollen. Okay. Yeah, bee pollen. Mm -hmm. um, bee pollen is, uh, many times you'll, you'll see something yellow on the, on the, on the legs of a, of a bee. That's true. When you look at the bee on the, yeah. the grass in the morning, yeah. you, you get something yellow. Yeah. That is bee pollen. Now, when bees go to the forest, they are, or rather to flowers, they will pick two things. Mm -hmm. One, they, 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 they will drink nectar, which mixes with the, with the, with the, with the enzymes That's to make it. honey. Mm. They also get pollen. Yeah. Pollen, now they use it to, um, to, 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 to feed yeah. the young ones. Mm -hmm. But now, interestingly, pollen has got a very special protein that is not found in any meat. It's not found in any legume. So God put it only in pollen. And so uh, it's a supplement that many people like to, like to buy, like to, like, like to use across yes. the country, yes. across Africa. But now the, the bad thing with it is that now the mount level marketing companies, they only know that Africans know only beekeeping for honey. So they don't, they, they know that you, you can't go to any supermarket in Africa and buy. So they would market them, they will come and tell you the benefits of the, of the bee pollen because they know you have to buy from them. But now we are talking to our people, whatever we have found in Africa. Yeah. We are telling people the easiest way to make money in Africa is not to plant maize in the village or rather in the, when it rains. The easiest way to make money in Africa is to, in the farm, is to harvest bee pollen. Why am I saying that? Simply because when you're harvesting bee pollen, you don't need to even touch the bee, to open the bee hive. You get the, what we call the pollen collector. Yes. This is a pollen collector. Mm -hmm. This one we call it the pollen tray and this is the pollen trap. Yes. And that when you, when you, when you, when you get it, mm -hmm. you, you put it at the entrance of the hive. Let me, let me get this. Okay. You put it at the entrance of the hive. Yes. Which is this, essentially this is the entrance. Yeah, this is the entrance. Actually, this yes. is the entrance. This entrance, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what you will do is... Uh, Open it. Yes. I can see that it's now officially open. Yes. And then you, and you, then you, 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 you put you, it right here. Yes. Now, when you look at this, uh, when you look at these holes, mm -hmm. they are very tiny. They're very tiny. Very yeah. tiny. Uh -huh. That the bee will not just enter. They have to the squeeze bee, through. They have to squeeze through. Yeah. And as they squeeze through, of course, they are they're wiped. They're, the pollen is wiped. Yes. Then you come and remove the oh, pollen. I see. Now, no, this is the collector. Right. Yes. That how you dry it. Of course, we train our clients how to go about it. As oh, And uh, after, after that, you'll be able now to get this. I wish the viewer could see this. Mm -hmm. This is some bit of pollen. Oh, I see that now. Yeah, I, that I, is pollen. Guys, I don't know whether you can focus on this. I'm going to try as much as possible yeah. to show you what that is. Yeah? It's, it is right here. Now, this is the pollen, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. pollen now. Uh -huh. And now, the bit about pollen, yeah. maybe, maybe if I could mention briefly. Yeah. The bit about pollen, yeah. pollen you can harvest two to three times a week. Mm -hmm. Two am am I allowed times. to taste it? Oh, you can test it, no problem. Two, two mm -hmm. to three times yep, yep. a week. So pollen, you can harvest uh, 100, 250 times in a year. Every harvest, you can harvest between 50 to 100 grams, depending on the, the season. Yes. And now, if you harvested 50 grams and you harvest 100 times, then yes. it means per year you have got five kilograms from one beehive. And how much is a kg? A kg is 6,800. 6,800. Yes. Yeah. So there's no way you'd make less than, uh, I mean, plus minus 40,000. So on top of selling honey, you're also selling pollen, isn't oh, it? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's more lucrative by far. You're yes. not just in the business of honey. <laughs> no, you're not only in the business <laughs> right. of honey. Yes. And, yes. I want uh, us to quickly yes. go through I, I this. I will mention mm -hmm. briefly about yes. uh, uh -huh. propolis. Yes. Uh, many times when you go harvesting, you, you find someone has harvested in the village, you'll find they've thrown something black in the, in the, wherever they were harvesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when, uh, when, when beehives crack, the traditional beehives, when they crack, mm -hmm. the, 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 the bees go to the, the forest, they pick trees up, they come and make a glue, yeah. a glue something, a black substance 